time to think. What are the various sources of water? Why do we need water? Water is an important natural resource which is essential for all living beings. It is present in fruits, vegetables, leaves, animals, air and even in our body. Rain is the main source of water on the earth. Some part of the rain water is absorbed by the ground and is stored underground. Some of this underground water is used by plants. Some of it is taken out through wells, tube wells and hand pumps for human consumption. Some rain water remains on the surface of the earth. This water is called surface water. It is found in rivers, lakes, ponds, streams, seas and oceans. Local sources of water In cities, water from rivers is purified and made fit for drinking. It reaches our homes through pipelines. Hence, we do not need to go anywhere to get water. In villages, people get water from wells, rivers and ponds. These sources of water are usually situated at a distance from the village. So, the villagers have to walk several kilometers to collect water. In most villages today, water comes directly to the houses through pipelines as in cities. Ancient Sources of Water In ancient times, many people lived in places that were not close to any river. People living in such places had to travel long distances to fetch water in mud pots or other containers. Sometimes they had to walk 5 to 10 kilometers a day to reach the nearest source of water. Even today, in some parts of the world, people travel long distances to fetch water. Beoli Beoli in Hindi and Vau in Gujarati means step well. A beoli or a step well is a deep well in which water can be reached by climbing down a number of steps. These are ancient water reservoirs where huge amounts of water could be stored. They were built by ancient rulers to provide and store water as backup during droughts. These were very popular in western India. Some of the famous beolis are the Dada Hari Beoli in Gujarat, the Chand Beoli in Rajasthan, Agrasen Ki Beoli and the Raja Ki Beoli in Delhi. In the past, a Beoli was not only a source of water, but it was a place where community activities and religious ceremonies were used to held. These days, most ancient Beolis are lying neglected and unused. They can be repaired and used in areas where water supply is limited by harvesting groundwater. Nitty Gritty A Grasen Ki Beoli is believed to have been built during the epic eras of the Mahabharata. Piaus The word Piau means to offer liquid to drink. It refers to the offering of water to thirsty people. During hot summer days, Travellers on the road might need a glass of water to quench their thirst. To serve the travellers with water, we can see earthen pots full of water on roadsides. These are called piaus. Anybody can drink water from these piaus. In some places, there are piaus for animals as well. Serving water to the thirsty is a form of social service. The Gurdwara Nanak Piau is a historic Gurdwara in Delhi. It is said that Guru Nanak Dev Ji often stayed there and offered cool water to the thirsty wayfarers with his own hands. Irrigation Watering fields by artificial means is called irrigation. Wells, tube wells, canals and tanks are some major sources of irrigation in India. Wells Wells are deep holes dug into the ground to bring underground water to the surface. Water is drawn out of the wells using a bucket and rope. Tube Wells 
tube wells are deeper than wells and can reach the sources of water deep within the ground. They work on electricity or diesel pumps to draw the water out. Canals Canal is an artificial river made to take water from one artificial reservoir such as dams. A main canal is divided into branches which are further divided into distributaries. Now, canals are considered to be the best means of irrigating crops. Tanks Tanks are constructed to collect rainwater. This rainwater is then used for irrigating fields. Water wheel A water wheel called Rahat is a simple wheel with buckets or a set of paddles attached to its rim. The wheel is mounted vertically on a horizontal mental bar. It rotates when the flowing water strikes the buckets. While rotating, the water in the buckets fall on the other side and this water is directed into various water channels to feed the crops. The most common use of water wheel was to grind flour in mills. Hydroelectricity Huge dams and reservoirs are built on rivers to store water. This water is released into canals and used when required. By controlling the speed of this flowing water, it can be used to move a turbine. This turbine can be used to grind flour in a mill or to generate electricity. The electricity generated by water is called hydroelectricity. Water and its properties Water in its pure form is colorless, tasteless and an odorless liquid. It exists in three states, solid, ice, liquid, dew, rain and gas, steam. Some more properties of water, floating. An object sinks or floats depending on its density. Density in simple terms is the degree to which a substance is dense, heavy in relation to size. Thermocol and dry wood have lesser density than water. Thus they float. Singing. If an object is more dense than water, then it will sink. Stones and iron nails are heavy and more dense than water. That is why they sink. Mixing. Some substances mix or dissolve in water while some do not. Substances like salt and sugar dissolve in water readily. They are called soluble substances. Some substances like sand and oil do not mix with water at all. They are called insoluble substances. Every little drop of water is precious. We should try to save water 